Hello Python lovers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate an object using Pygame. First, we import the modules, import sys and then import Pygame from pygame.locals import anything and then by game dot init. Then we create display equals by game dot display dot set mode uh, four seven doesn't matter what number we what numbers we put in there because right here we declared it to be full screen. Full screen okay so it will take the entire uh, width and height of a screen now we want to get the width and height of the device screen uh, so that we can use them later so width width height equals size okay equals screen dot get size okay next if we want to create an object we want to have a starting position for them so we want to create an x and y axis as the starting position so let's say one x uh, 100 and y equals 100 too and next we run the the loop while true in order to uh, to make this screen keep showing the object we create okay for event in by game dot event dot type if event dot oh sorry dot get we get the event here uh, if then dot type equals uh, quit we want by game to quit by game dot quit sys dot exit and if we press the escape key we also want the by game to quit so we say if event dot type equals key down when we press the key down which is uh, the escape key uh, if event dot key equals key escape we want by game to quit sys dot exit okay and then we fill the screen dot fill with a color let's do white okay now we're ready to create an object and then animate it let's create a square or a rectangle we name it square square equals by game dot draw dot rect and we put it on screen screen we give it a color uh, for example blue and then we give the the square an initial position for them for it so we have created the initial position here x and y coordinate 100 by 100 and all we need to do is just put it in this bracket x and y and then uh, we set the width of the square for example 100 and the height 100 and then we close the bracket and the last thing that we want to do is uh, we want to display it on the screen so by game dot display dot flip yeah that's all we need to do in order to oh sorry it should be here. 
here. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, now let's run it. Yeah. Now we have a square, a blue square on the screen. Yeah, very nice square. But it does not move. It's not moving uh, to a certain direction on the screen. And that's not good. We want it to move to a certain direction. Let's make it move forward, straight forward. So if we want it to move forward, we want to deal with this x axis. So we have the x axis uh, all right here, 100, and we want to add some value to it. So in order uh, for it to move according to uh, the value that we add to uh, the initial uh, position. Um, okay, below here, we type x plus equals, for example, 1. But it's not so effective. Let's just create a new variable here for the move x, so move x equals 1. Okay, move at x equals 1. So x plus equals move x. Move x. Now we add x uh, with 1 every time. So it will keep moving forward until it disappears from the screen. And it will keep moving yeah, past the screen. Yeah. But we don't want it to happen. We don't want it to go past the screen. We want it to move back when it reaches the edge of the screen. So how we can do that? To do that, we need to create a condition for the x-axis right here. If x equals the width of the, the device screen. So we already uh, get the width and the height of the device screen right here. So we can use them. Let's use the width of the device screen. Device width right here. If x equals device width. Okay. And then move x time equals minus 1. Minus 1 means that we add x with minus 1. So it will go backward instead of forward. Alright, now let's run it. Okay, when it reaches the edge of this screen width, the width of the screen, it will go back. Yeah, it goes back. But the only problem that we have here is it still go it still goes past the screen width and it still disappears from the, the screen. We don't want that. We want it to always be visible. We want it to be always in the inside the screen, not go past the screen. So to do that. We need to subtract some value from the screen width. So the device width minus square, then the width of the square itself, square dot width. All right. Now let's see. Okay, yeah, this time the square doesn't go past the, the screen width. Uh, it's still inside the screen and it goes back. And right here, it will go past the zero value of the x axis. So we also need to fix that by adding edit another condition below here. 
if x equals zero plus zero move x time min equals minus one okay. whatever we times minus one uh, whatever number that we times uh, by minus one it will be the opposite will it will be the exact opposite of the that number so if we time uh, a positive number with minus one the num the positive number will be uh, minus negative number and if we time negative with minus one it will be a positive number okay now it does not go uh, back again it will go uh, forward okay let's see Yeah, it goes back. Now when it reaches the zero point, we expect it to go forward. Yeah, that's right. That is the behavior that we want from the object. And now we can also make it move downward by adding some value to the y axis so right above here we add uh, y plus equals move y yeah but we haven't created the move y above here move let's create it move y equals one okay now we want to copy this yep copy and paste it right here I want to change x to y, x to y, yeah, and width, we change it to height, okay, height, yep, that's it, this is, this one is y, okay. Okay, we expect it to bounce back up. Yes, that's the correct behavior that we want. And we expect it to bounce back down. Yeah. Okay, guys, now we have the object moving within the screen and will never stop until we hit the escape button. And the object, the square will not go past the screen. It will always still inside the screen forever. Okay, now let's just stop it. Yeah. Okay, we have reached the goal of animating a an object using Pygame. Okay. Uh, but By game dot display dot flip. And that is the final. Oh, we already created it right here. So, okay, let's just delete this one. Yeah. That's the final. Uh, code for animating the object using Pygame. So if you have any questions about this, just leave the comment below and don't forget to subscribe uh, and press the like button and share. Thank you guys, see you in the next video.